Hi everybody, my name is Chad Clayton. I'm the live feed supervisor for Reed Mariculture. We carry the Reef Nutrition line of feeds, AP Breed and Instant Algae. We're here at MACNA uh, San Diego. It's uh, 2016, we're having a good event so far. We uh, sell a number of live feed uh, organisms that are used in the marine ornamental trade as uh, aquaculture as well as fin fish aquaculture and food fish aquaculture. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about the copepods that we work with and a new species that uh, we're looking forward to getting into aquaculture and helping people uh, succeed in larva rearing in ways they never have. We have three different species of copepods. The uh, Tigriopus californicus is our harpacticoid copepod. It's our uh, tigger pod that is uh, famously known as uh, in, the, in the reef aquarium hobby um, as a food for dragonets and, and other animals that refuse to eat anything but live. And so it's a very uh, useful organism for those animals that are coming out of the wild. We also have a pelagic species that's a calanoid copepod. It's Parvocalanus crassirostris. Um, that animal is being used successfully by um, a number of hatcheries. Uh, the yellow tangs that were successfully cultured in Hawaii use Parvocalanus crassirostris, as well as the blue tangs that were done uh, down in Florida. They use the same exact species, the Parvocalanus crassirostris. And so we make both of those species available for hobbyists as well as breeders. Um, and we sell them as, as nauplii or adults. They're very useful for people that either want to try them out as a first time culture. We'll sell them an inoculum. Or, or we will support their, uh, their, breeding, um, their breeding systems by sending them nauplii weekly or in some cases we're going to think about doing it daily uh, so that those people, if they can't grow enough or if they have issues culturing them, uh, we can supply those animals to them and have them to their doorstep the next day. We do the same exact thing with rotifers and so we've proven that we're able to ship these animals uh, successfully uh, all over the world and especially within the United States. So the third copepod I'm going to talk about today is a cyclopoid copepod. Now this animal um, I've been working with for about a year and a half now. It's Apocyclops panamensis. Uh, it's, a, it's a copepod that uh, the females carry their eggs in two clusters on their, on their tail and the nauplii hatch out from the female from the, uh, from the clusters. And the nauplii are roughly 70 microns wide and 90 microns long. So they're gonna be very useful in larva rearing for a number of species. They, they probably won't be applicable for every species, but they will definitely work for species like clownfish and dotty backs and cardinals. And especially, and most importantly for us, they're gonna be working for food fish species like the Pacific snapper and certain species of grouper. That the larvae are large enough and the mouth gape is large enough that they can consume the copepod and get the nutrition from the nauplii. The neatest thing about copepod nauplii is that they contain very, very good uh, enzymes for digestion for these animals, and they also contain free amino acids, which are easy on the animals to polymerize those amino acids into proteins, into peptides, and, and deposit them as muscle. And so the nauplii of this animal are going to be very useful for a number of breeders. And so the very interesting thing that I found with this animal is that it consumes our non-viable concentrates. It eats the same exact concentrate um, a blend of algae that our rotifer people are using. So if you're culturing rotifers and you want to try to culture this copepod, you can use the same exact feed. You don't have to buy a different kind of feed or any special feed for these animals. The other, the other positive attribute of these animals is that they are known to consume ciliated protozoans as well as rotifers. So they keep their own cultures contamination free, which is a huge plus. They're also very hardy animals. They can handle a wide range of salinities, temperatures, they can, they can tolerate ammonia, pH swings. Uh, so they are very dur uh, durable and versatile and hardy. And so what we are working on is a way to mass produce these animals, constantly harvesting nauplii daily from large scale recirculating systems as well as batch culture systems and making them available to breeders. And also perfecting the protocols, perfecting the feed rates, looking for that, that uh, adult density sweet spot and continuously harvesting nauplii and so that we can perfect these protocols and pass them on to our hatcheries and our customers that would like to culture these copepods without culturing algae, uh, which uh, is gonna be very useful to a lot of people. So what I'm, uh, what I'm working on right now is getting these animals into 1,000 liter tanks that are on recirculating systems with all the filtration required to clean the water, the same exact filtration that anybody would have on a reef aquarium, and, and uh, looking for that adult density sweet spot, and also keeping the adults young and vigorous and reproducing rapidly. So what I'm looking to do is doing something very similar to what they did uh, out in Hawaii, 
and that is harvesting a certain percentage of adults every day, having maturation tanks where once a tank reaches sexual maturity, I add those individuals into the tank so that the tank is continuously producing nauplii at peak performance and so that I can harvest them daily and either sell them or maybe create a, a non-live concentrate that could be useful in, in the reef aquarium hobby or even in larval fin fish aquaculture. Okay, so, so not only do we want to help these large-scale fin fish hatcheries succeed with this animal, but we want to help the, the smaller breeders that aren't necessarily working with a lot of fish, but are looking to feed a copepod as a first food, as a food, as a first prey item, and even maybe as a binary feed approach, feeding it alongside of a rotifer. And so what we want to do is have small scale cultures that eventually we could maybe have a culture kit, just like the CCS for rotifers, and provide people with the tank, the feed, um, the aeration, uh, and, and also recommendations on continuous feed uh, dosing systems and keeping the food refrigerated, how much food to dose per day, and how to keep the adult density in the right spot, and also passively harvesting those animals with uh, devices that remove the nauplii and not the adults, so that you can simply pour the nauplii out of the passive harvester every day, count them, quantify them, take a look at them under the microscope to assess health, and then just feed them directly to your animals. And so it's gonna be something that's very useful for small scale breeders, as well as the larger fish farms in the world. Uh, we are very excited about this animal. We're calling it the new rotifer, and we can't wait to start getting it out. So keep an eye out for it. We're going to start selling them this year as starter cultures, and we'll probably sell the nauplii only so that people can grow the nauplii up, and then once they reach sexual maturity, they can start reproducing for you. And so uh, we also are looking forward to customers that maybe want a recurring order and would like to order keep those animals coming weekly. Uh, we have customers that right now are doing that with our parvocalanists. And so we're looking forward to helping out uh, individuals and hatcheries that uh, maybe either can't grow enough or, or don't want to grow them and just want to get shipments in and feed them directly to their animals. And there's also cases where people don't expect their animals to breed um, and produce and produce larvae. Uh, and, you know, they don't expect as many as, as what they were as what they got, or maybe they got more than they than they expected. So we also want to be able to provide the nauplii to farms that uh, have maybe uh, too many larvae that they didn't expect they would have such a good um, a spawn and a good hatch, and so we can supply them with the nauplii to supplement what they're already doing. And so keep an eye out. Uh, check us out on apbreed.com. Go to our website on readmariculture.com. Check us out on Facebook. You can contact me. My name is Chad Clayton. Again, I'm the live feed supervisor. I love to talk about live feeds and breeding fish. Uh, it's what I've done. My whole career has been based in aquaculture, so it's been a really fun uh, ride so far and really enjoying working with the copepods. And again, we're at MACNA San Diego. And it's uh, been great chatting with you guys.